Spring calving season is upcoming, if not underway, for farmers and ranchers. Earlier this week, we talked with UNL Extension Beef Specialist Rick Rasby about things to keep in mind going into calving. We started by asking about how nighttime feeding now can help for the future. Well, if you, uh, if you have uh, late March, early April calvers, and that's what we're talking about right now, um, uh, you probably want to start uh, a, a management strategy of feeding cows in the evening time or at dusk. And this time of year, it'd be somewhere between 5 and 7 in the evening instead of feeding them uh, in the day or in the morning. And uh, that actually, when you change that feeding uh, regime uh, and feeding in the evening, that'll push about 70% of those cows to calve during the day. And if you think about it, we're more alert during the day. Um, and if you push more of those cows to calve during the day, we're probably more uh, attentive during that time period. And, and if we do have to have assist, uh, we'll see those during the daytime. So you have to start that about two to three weeks before calving. And again, if you're a late March, early April calver, this is the time to do that kind of thing. So that's one of the things they can do to start off and get ready. What are some of the other things they can do right at the onset to make sure they're ready, everything's ready to go? Well, one would be to make sure that uh, you have all the calving supplies ready to go. And that would mean that uh, you have uh, uh, any kind of chains or pullers that you may need to use during calving time that they're clean and, and functional and, and in working order. Make sure you have a bucket for water. Disinfectant would be good. Uh, the other thing would be is to make sure that uh, uh, you have colostrum available because if that calf doesn't get up and eat right away or nurse right away and get the colostrum from the dam, then you need to make sure that you get colostrum into that calf. Remember, colostrum contains the antibodies for that calf. Uh, that's going to be its first defense uh, against any diseases. And so getting that into the calf uh, right away, especially if he doesn't get up and, and nurse, is important. In fact, when you think about it, if they don't get up and nurse, you want to probably get colostrum in them by at least six hours and then again at 12 because by 24, four hours and they're not going to be able to absorb those uh, immune globulins into the system. And so that's pretty important to, to help that calf survive. The other thing is, is to make sure that you have those calving tools available. Make sure you have tags. If you weigh calves at, the, uh, at birth, then you have to have the weight uh, equipment, the weighing equipment as well. But just make sure you have those available and ready to go. Make sure your calving barn is ready to go too and that the, the head catch and the swing gates are all functional as well. So sort of go through that checklist, make sure you have everything in you order. Bet. And, and you know, calves are expensive right now, so saving every one of them is pretty important. You, uh, one of the things you mentioned, a possible problem that could be out there is scours after birth. What can they do to manage that? Yeah, you don't ever want to talk about scours, right? Yeah, but, no. but you do have to have a plan. And, and if you do have an outbreak of scours, just make sure that you've consulted with your veterinarian to make sure that uh, you have that plan in place. Um, make sure you isolate those calves that have scours so they aren't spread across the rest of the herd. Uh, the other thing is, is that you've talked to your veterinarian, have a plan in how you're going to treat. The other thing would be to make sure that you have some electrolytes available because dehydration can occur very quickly in those light calves and so be able to have that available to, to give the calf. What should people keep in mind about first time calvers? What should they be looking at? Man, they're a, they're a, they're a tough group sometimes to manage nutritionally because they're going to need extra energy after calving. And so just a hay diet, hay alfalfa combination diet isn't going to work for them. Uh, adding a little bit of energy in there in regards to maybe some corn, uh, distiller's grains works real well. Also maybe even some, uh, some silage if that's your energy source, but you're going to need a little bit extra energy uh, to meet that high energy need for that first calf heifer after calving. And then finally, you know, we talk a lot about the, the calves and, and the heifers themselves, but what about the bulls? You mentioned don't forget the bulls. You know, here we're talking about calving and we're already thinking about, I mean, we need to think about breeding seasons not that far away. And so the idea is to make sure that you have your bull battery put in place. Uh, you've purchased the bulls that you need, the ones that you have on hand. Make sure that they've gone probably through a breeding science evaluation. The other thing is, is it's now time to get them into their working clothes. And if they're a little bit thin right now, uh, that would now would be the time to get them picked up prior to the start of the uh, breeding season. So don't forget about the bulls. <laughs> well, we'll hope for the best weather. It hasn't been too bad so far. Really, we've been blessed. And I'm telling you, uh, uh, so far the calving season has really gone extremely well.